We all know that in our lives, there are some people that we are constantly running into. For example, your Chinese co-worker, business partner, your Chinese parents-in-law, or the best Chinese friend of your partner. You know those people, you will always see them and you can hardly avoid a conversation with them. And every time you meet this person, you may want to ask what he or she has done since last time you saw them. For example, ask about the, their yesterday, their weekend, anything new or any gossip. So if this is the case, then I will equip you with three essential past tense structures. Uh, let's take a look at uh, those structures. They are verb plus le and shi de and verb de plus the degree. Uh, normally it's formed by the adverb and the adjective. So you may think why I pick these three structures. This is based on how I expect your conversation will uh, develop. So think about this when you talk about your last weekend first you have to introduce what you did for the very first time so the le structure is only for you to introduce what you did for the very first time then you don't have to use le anymore because once you have this past action you are going to give details to explain uh, and giving facts to let the person know more about this past happening. And after you give all the facts, the details, you or your friend will make a comment on how was it? How was the past experience that you had? Then we have to use the verb the degree structure. I will give you an example. So if I ask you, ah, 上个周末你做了什么? What did you do for the last weekend? Your friend tells you for the first time that he watched a movie. 我看了电影. 看电影, watch movie is a new action being mentioned for the very first time. So we have to put the le right after the verb. 看了电影, watch the movie. And that's a simple fact. Your friend may wondering, uh, can you tell me more about it? Or you may want to, to, uh, to uh, gossip or to showing interest about this, this topic. Then by asking with who that you watch the movie, at where you watch the movie, when did you watch the movie, and which movie did you watch? Because you cannot just, uh, oh, you watch the movie. That's not very friendly. We want to ask the details to show we are interested in your in this topic in the conversation. So we use 是的 to express this uh, to collect facts and details about the past happening. Once everything you know, we want to know how was the moving watching experience. So then we will use the uh, verb degree complement structure, verb de plus degree. And another example, uh, uh, if someone tells you, oh, last week I went to Beijing, 上个星期我去了北京, uh, first introduce the past happening, we use le, and then for details, when did you go to Beijing, uh, the purpose for work or for travel, uh, for the means, uh, the transportation method by train or by plane on where exactly in Beijing did you go? Those are the details. We use the structure of a de. And how was your trip? Making comment, we use the third structure of the degree. Uh, and be careful, the second the, uh, the the in the second structure and the the in the third structure, they have the same sound, same pinyin, but different character. Be really careful. Now I'm going to explain you more about those three structures. 
Uh, so first thing first, uh, as I mentioned before, the verb le structure is only when we introduce or ask for new information, unknown information about what someone did or didn't do in the past. So verb le is only for what you did. And be careful, the negative form, if you want to clarify that I didn't do something, didn't in Chinese is mei or meio. You may think about uh, mei meio is means don't, don't have something, right? That is because uh, meio and mei before a noun, it means don't have. But if you put a mei and a meio before a verb, that means you didn't do something. Uh, so be careful whether it's don't have or didn't do something. And when you say didn't do something, there's no l. Uh, when you clarify didn't do something, the negative form, no l. Just may or mayo in front of verb is enough. Let's take a look at some examples. Uh, yesterday I watched the movie. 昨天我看了电影. Uh, last year I went to China. 去年我去了中国. Today I had breakfast. Uh, uh, this is also something important for today. Uh, for in English, you say I have eaten the breakfast, but in Chinese, we still use uh, the verb le structure because today also there's a part in the past and there's a part in the future. So what you did before right now in today, it's also we use le for what you did for today. And for the negative form, no le, just may in front of verb. 昨天我没看电影。去年, last year, 我没去中国。今天我没吃早饭。Today uh, I haven't eaten breakfast. Very good. How? And for this le, verb le structure, you did something, be careful. There must have a past tense time, past time expressions in your sentence. Here you can uh, stop the video and write down. I won't uh, explain more on this page. Just make sure when you use the verb l structure, you have to have this past time in the beginning of your sentence, before or after the subject. Here are two scenarios. Um, the scene number one is for uh, last week. What did you do? 上个周末你做了什么? I try to collect the new information about what you did. So that's why I say you did what? 你做了什么? B says, uh, I went to the mall, bought things. 我去商场买了东西. Let's see here. Uh, there are two verbs in this sentence. 去商场, went to the mall. 买东西, uh, bought things. If there are two verbs or three verbs in your sentence with the scenario of past tense, remember, just put the le after the last verb. Use it only one time. So we, we don't say 我去了商场买了东西. Instead, we just say 我去商场买了东西, put the le after the last verb, because the last verb will be the main action you did. In addition, I met my friend, 还见了朋友. Ah, so this is a, after comma, this is another sentence, so we need to use another le. Have you watched the movie? 你看电影了吗? Uh, you may wondering why I didn't put the le right after the verb can. This is because uh, it's as a habit. We when we ask, did you do something? We more commonly we put the le ma together in the end of the sentence. So, 你看电影了吗? Did you watch the movie? 我没看电影. I didn't watch movie. The past, uh, the the past negative form for past tense. Is may plus the verb. Very good. 
and uh, also we said the le mei structure kind of for the today so today have you eaten yet 今天你吃饭了吗? if it's you did ate the meal 我在家吃了早饭 I had breakfast today or I haven't eaten yet 我还没吃呢 没吃, haven't eaten 还没呢, it's not yet I haven't eaten yet 我还没吃呢 Alright, now let's take a look at that. the second structure 是的 and uh, we said that 是的 is for collecting the details or giving out the details based on an already known past fact this can be used for emphasize a piece of detail that you think is important or you can use this structure for gossip showing off, show your interest or asking for details to maintain the conversation to uh, keep it flow, keep the flow so I'm giving you an example uh, if someone watched the movie 他看了电影 or I said 我看了电影 I watched the movie now based on this fact we can ask ah, with who that you watched 是跟谁看的 we put the 是 before the piece of the intel detail that I want to know so it is with who that you watched 是跟谁看的 跟, uh, the preposition with with someone and we put the the after the verb or in the end of the sentence now if we want to know uh, it was at where that you watched the movie 你是在哪儿看的 or 在哪里看的 or what place 在什么地方看的 if we want to know uh, it was what movie that you watched 你是看的什么电影 uh, here because uh, the verb is before the object so that's why uh, 什么电影 is after the and if you want to know when did you watch the movie 你是什么时候看的 which day did you watch 你是哪天看的 which day of the which the date of the month did you watch? 是几号看的? Or what o'clock? What time did you watch? 你是几点看的? 当场. But be really careful. 是的 cannot use to emphasize on how long, 多长时间, 多久. We can't emphasize this. And we cannot use 是的 to emphasize 为什么? Why? Last but not the least, uh, well, after you introduce the, all the details, you want to know how was it. So if someone tells you that, oh, what I, I ate. So you may want wondering, how was the eating experience? 你吃的怎么样? So we put the verb first and then the the. And then the question, how, how is it? 怎么样? 你吃的怎么样? How was it? To answer this one, you can say, 我吃的很好. I ate very well. 我吃的很贵. Uh, the, the food was very expensive. 我吃的很舒服. Uh, uh, the meal was very comfortable. It's very warm and not so spicy. So I eat very comfortably. 我吃得很饱, I eat very full, or I eat too much, 我吃得很撑. This is all the comments about your eating experience. There are also some general degree that you can use in this structure. For example, 我吃得还可以. 还可以 means uh, it's above average, but not so perfect. It's like a 60% satisfaction. 吃的一般, uh, below average, 40% satisfaction. 吃的不好, uh, I had a very bad experience eating there. Well, now we already know the three structures and the one scenario. Let's put them together to see how they work together in a dialogue. Let's see, A asks, 
上个周末你做了什么 ？What did you do last weekend？ 我去了北京。I went to Beijing。It's all new information, so we use the to ask and answer the question。真的吗 ？Really？ 你是去出差的吗 ？Was it on a work trip？ 我是去玩的。I went there for fun for。Travel, not for work trip. So this is a a piece of detail for when to Beijing. That's why we use a 是的是的 emphasize on the purpose to Beijing. 你是跟谁去玩的 It was with whom that you went to play. 我是自己去的 I went by myself. 你是怎么去的北京 How did you went to Beijing? 我是坐飞机去的。It was by plane that I went. So here is all about the details with 是的 Now A is try to collecting new information. 你在北京玩了什么 ？What did you play in Beijing? So here again getting new information, new action. So we use 了。我去了很多有名的地方。I went to many famous place places. And 你玩的怎么样？我玩的不错，但是玩的也很累。How was your trip? I played very well, but also I played very tired. So the last two sentences is about. The experiences about his trip in Beijing, so that's why we use the third structure verb the plus the degree. Let's continue. Ah,、uh, A is collecting new information. 你还在北京做了什么 What else did you do? 我还去商场买了东西 I also went to the mall. Ah,、uh, and bought things. So we use the one more time after the last verb. 买的多不多 Did you buy a lot? This is a common, the third structure. 买的不多，可是有点贵 I didn't buy a lot, but it's a little bit expensive. 你住的怎么样 How was your stay in Beijing? Ah,、uh, here, ah,、uh, although we didn't use the. But、uh, if you someone travel in Beijing, we automatically assume that this person is going to stay there for a few nights. So we can, when someone tells you he traveled for a few days, then you can directly use the third structure. How was your hotel? 你住的怎么样？我住的很舒服。I stayed very well. Ah,、uh, my hotel was very comfortable. 因为我是在一个五星级酒店住的。呃、uh, ，this is because it was a five-star hotel that I stayed. Ah,、uh, so because, uh, 五星呃、uh, ，and here is showing off. It's not a normal hotel. It was a five-star hotel. So we use this 是的 again. Ah,、uh, this 的 sorry, it was covered. There should be a 的 here. So 是的 It's for also for you emphasize on this piece of detail to show off or to、uh, give more stress. 这么厉害，羡慕你啊、uh, ！That's so awesome. I would marry you. 对了，你是什么时候回来的 ？By the way, it was when that you came back. 我是今天早上回来的。It was this morning that I came back. Ah,、uh, so we use the 是的 again to emphasize on the detail. 这是我给你买的北京小吃 This is the Beijing snack I bought it for you. Ah,、uh, this sentence, although it has a 是的 but there's nothing to do with the 是的 structure, because the key sentence is 这是北京小吃 This is a Beijing snack. What kind of Beijing snack? 我给你买的 the Beijing snack that I bought for you. So this the is to connect the description and the object that you are describing. 
So be really careful whether it's a should for the past tense or it's just a normal sentence. Wow, 这么好，太谢谢你了。Wow, that's so good. 